Please come in, the door is open. Please come in and be at home. All God's children, our brothers and sisters, you are family. Hello, I'm Sister Jean Augustine of the Sisters of Charity of Seton Hill. And I'm Sister Annette Fry. In 2013, Members of the local St. Vincent de Paul Society came to the Sisters of Charity of Seton Hill with an idea related to their missions to effect systemic change while ministering to the poor, which resonated with our mission statement to respond to the changing conditions of our time. The St. Vincent group saw the lack of affordable housing and homelessness as one of those conditions. Located in Uniontown, Fayette County, one of the poorest in Pennsylvania, St. Vincent de Paul received many requests for assistance from women, even though employed, but having other needs. The director felt they would benefit from living in a structured and monitored environment. He applied the scripture verse from Acts 2, 42 to 47, underlying his idea, to which the sisters concurred, assigning two of us to move the project into reality. We chose St. Mary Convent, a comfortable home, that would lodge up to eight, including we two sisters, and convenient to numerous social services in agencies in the area. The Bishop of Greensburg and the Parish Council approved the project. We established a board and proceeded with legal steps, naming the residence Mary Huss and opening the door to three women on March 1, 2016. Mary Huss serves women between the ages of 30 and 70 who are without a permanent or temporary residence as well as anyone living in an unsafe or unhealthy situation. Residents must be ambulatory, free of communicable disease, clean of addictions to illegal drugs and or alcohol. The motto from the Vincentian 400th anniversary, welcoming the stranger, governs the work and spirit of Mary Huss. We try to make the women feel at home as we engage them in learning how to live in community, to get back on their feet, spiritually, emotionally, financially. We help them obtain a job, to budget time and money earned for payment of debts and for savings, the residents share in household chores, gaining self-sufficiency. All of this assumes their cooperation in the fulfillment of the Mary House mission statement, a safe, secure home for women, open to supportive guidance, and choosing a life in community based on simplicity and charity. Please come in, the door is open. Please come in and be at home. All God's children, our brothers and sisters, you are family.